Using the TI-84 graphing calculator to solve a linear system of equations with three variables. Southwestern College, Professor Maria Olivas. In this video, we will be using the TI-84 plus CE graphing calculator to solve a system of linear equations in three variables. The system we will be working with is right here on the right hand side of the screen. It is 2x minus y plus 4z equals negative 3, x minus 2y minus 10z equals negative 6, 3x plus 4z equals 7. It is very important that your equations are written in standard form. That is, it is written in the form ax plus by plus cz equals d, where we have all of our variable terms written on the left-hand side of the equal sign in alphabetical order, and the constant term is written on the right-hand side of the equal sign. We will be writing our system as an augmented matrix and inputting it into the graphing calculator. In order to do that, I'm going to write in the y term for the last equation as plus zero y. Since we are writing this as an augmented matrix, we do need to know the coefficients of all of our variable terms. As an augmented matrix, we will have this following matrix which has appeared on the screen. I will now read the entries by row from left to right. Row one from left to right is two, negative one, 4 and negative 3. In row 2 we have 1, negative 2, negative 10, and negative 6. In row 3 we have 3, 0, 4, and 7. Now that we have our augmented matrix written out, we can input this into the graphing calculator. Let's go ahead and press the second button, which is the blue button on the left hand side of your graphing calculator. Next we will press the x raised to the negative 1 button in order to access the matrix feature, which is written right above it. And next we will scroll over to the right two times to edit. We will change that default setting for the order of a matrix. For, uh, instead of 1 by 1, we're going to input 3 by 4 because that is the order of our augmented matrix. We will now input all of the entries. So in row 1 from left to right we had 2, negative 1, 4, negative 3. In row 2 we had 1, negative 2, negative 10, and negative 6. In row 3 we had 3, 0, 4, and 7. Now that we have finished inputting the entries of our matrix, uh, we're going to go to second and quit in order to exit. And now we're going to go second matrix and we're going to scroll over one spot to the right to the math menu. We are going to go down until we find the option that says RREF which stands for reduced row echelon form. It's on the letter B and we'll press enter once we have the cursor land on the letter B. Now on our screen appears our REF with an open set of parentheses. We will go to second matrix again to, and press enter on one to get our matrix A and then we will close our parentheses and press enter. This will provide us with the reduced row echelon form of matrix A. In row one we have one zero zero three. In row two we have zero one zero seven. And in row three we have zero zero one negative point five. If I wanted to convert any decimal solutions to fractions, I could press the button that says math and then press enter on number one. 
and this would say answer to fraction press enter and it would provide me with my reduced row echelon form of my matrix with fractional solutions this matrix now says in row 1 1003 in row 2 0107 and in row 3 0, 0, 1 negative one half. You could use either one of these matrices to write down the solution. I will be using the matrix that has the decimal number in the solution. So the solution for this uh, system, linear equations in three variables would be x is equal to three, y is equal to seven, z is equal to negative 0.5. We would want to write this as an ordered triple. So we would write this as three comma seven comma negative point five. And that would represent the solution of our system.